The Russian invasion of Ukraine had, of course, a huge and a direct impact on migratory, migration flows to the EU. More than 11 million Ukrainians crossed the border of the European Union. A significant number has returned indeed, but over 4 million of them have registered for temporary protection in the EU. And the EU delivered on this TPD. And we can be proud about how millions of refugees received a warm welcome all over Europe, particularly in countries bordering Ukraine, Poland, Slovakia, Hungary, Romania, Moldova. It has been really impressive to see all the efforts by citizens and communities to take care of vulnerable people. But the migration challenge is not restricted to migration flows directly from Ukraine. In the first nine months of this year, more than 228,000 migrants irregularly crossed the external borders of the EU, the highest number since 2016. For three consecutive months, there were more than 70,000 asylum applications per month in the EU. Again, the last time this happened was in 2016, crisis time. On the Western Balkan routes, we see an increase of almost 200% compared to last year, mainly due also to the scandalous visa policy of Serbia, which I hope the Commission will address without delay. We are sleepwalking towards another migration crisis, and we already see member states reaching the limits of reception capacity. So we need to act. We can point fingers to member states and agencies as much as we want, but we need to do our job as a parliament by making real progress on the Pact on Migration to make sure it is adopted as soon as possible. We cannot allow any further delays. Let's get to work.